Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. I'm going to try to make this video quick because we don't have much information, but there is some stuff that I'd actually like to share. When it comes to the Steam Deck, Valve has recently sent out some of these two developers just to make sure their games can run on them, that they don't have to do any kind of modifications to get said games up and running on the Steam Deck. And I'm sure that there was an NDA that went along with this. I don't know the specifics, but some of these developers are probably posting more than they should about this unit right now. And that's where this video comes in. A couple developers have been posting screenshots, pictures, and videos of the Steam Deck running their games, and one in particular out of China has given us a quick look at the UI, and they've also run some benchmarks on different games, so that's what we're going to be going over in this video. But before we get started here, I do want to mention that the Steam Deck has not been released to the public yet. There's some more fit and finish they need to do to the operating system and drivers to get this working a little better, and I'm super excited to see Valve send these out to developers to get their feedback and, you know, get their games running without much modification at all. So all this information is coming from a website called Alley213. There's a lot of great information in here and there's a few pages to go through. Now what I'm really focusing on in this video is what this developer has been able to run so far and how well it's run. First on the list, Tomb Raider. With a high preset, running the built-in benchmark, they got an average of 36 frames per second. Not too shabby in my opinion, but remember we are on a 1280 by 800 screen here. Now the next thing they did was drop some of the settings down. They don't state exactly what they dropped it down to, but if I had to say they probably just went to low with all of the settings, not a preset. 60 frames. And in my opinion, this would be totally possible at that 720p resolution, low settings. So I mean, yeah, that's definitely looking pretty good. Next up, they were able to get Doom 2016 up and running. With the medium preset using the OpenGL backend, it fluctuates between 60 frames per second. Now, I'm not exactly sure why they didn't use Vulkan here, but I'm sure it would have performed much better on Vulkan. But they're using that medium preset, and this is actually really good. I know it's not Doom Eternal, but when it comes down to it, Doom 2016 was still a really good game. They did have a drop down to 46 FPS, and remember, this is using that medium preset. So there's a good chance if they were using that Vulcan back in and low presets that this would run at 60 without those fluctuations. Moving over to Cyberpunk 2077, they're stating that they got between 20 and 30 frames per second with the high preset. Really not that bad, but this is a game, especially on APUs, you really have to drop that down the low and the crowd density. I've done a lot of testing on the Vega iGPUs, and even with a really high TDP, 5700G, we struggle to get around 45 FPS at low settings with that crowd density down. But I do think that we will be able to run this game on the Steam Deck at around 30 FPS at that 720p resolution with a mix of low-medium settings, and that's not bad at all for a handheld. Through this article here, they also did some battery temperature testing and things like that. Plus, we got to look at the UI. And like I mentioned, I do apologize about the resolution of these images. But uh, overall, this looks like a cool little launcher here. And remember, this is using their new SteamOS based on Arch. This is kind of the game launcher that we can expect when this is released. It might change a little bit. But overall, it should be really easy to navigate your Steam games and start them up from here. Some other new gameplay that I've come across is from Mike Rose over on Twitter. They do Descenders, and they state that it works flawlessly on their Ultra preset. It's around 50 to 60 FPS, and remember, that's on Ultra, so if you drop this down to high, I'm sure it's going to do 60 all day. They do have a little bit of a video here. And i got to say that gameplay is actually looking really good. This is a game that me and my son play on Xbox, and we definitely enjoy it. I think it's going to be really fun to play it in handheld mode. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. I really appreciate you watching. And, you know, I'm really excited to get my hands on a Steam Deck. One of the main things I want to do with it is some emulation. But I thought this was something worth making a quick video on. Now that these are in the hands of developers, we will see more information come out on the Steam Deck. I'm sure more people are going to be posting gameplay videos. They're going to be posting some benchmarks and things like that. And if anything pops up super important between now and the release of the Steam Deck, I will make another quick video. But that's it for this one. And like always... Thanks for watching.